anyone who's been paying attention to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, even as a casual viewer that's not looking at the box office numbers, can tell you it's not been the same since Avengers Endgame. There were complaints here and there before Thanos' finale in the MCU, but things are pretty good for us Marvel fans. But ever since then, it's been a steady stream of source material disrespect, fan antagonizing, bad CGI, modern messaging, and just flat out bad writing. But now, we're being told that it's not them, tis the fans who are the problem. Am I so out of touch? No, it's the children who are wrong. I'm Troy from Marks on Movies, and today we're talking about the sheer tone deafness of a couple of high-profile directors from the MCU. Now, let's get into it. The name of this article from Bounding Into Comics kind of says it all, but we're going to dive into it a bit deeper anyway, because that's what we do on this channel. Avengers Endgame, directors blame decline of MCU on shorter attention spans of younger audiences. Quote, this next generation is looking for ways to tell their own stories that service their own sort of collective ADHD, end quote. Sure, Jan. Joe and Anthony Russo, the directors behind several Marvel Cinematic Universe films, most notably Avengers Endgame, but there are a few others, have expressed their views on the decline in the franchise's popularity. To anyone doubting that there's been a decline, look no further than the numbers. Even the movies that made money were still panned by critics and audiences alike. Plus, look at all the shows that tanked, like Secret Wars, She-Hulk, etc. But getting back into the Russo brothers here, Ew, David. Speaking at the Sands International Film Festival, they suggested that the root cause is not inherent issues with the MCU's storytelling or a deviation from comic book sources, no, no, but rather the shrinking attention spans of younger audiences. What? What the fuck? The Russos highlighted a general shift in media consumption habits where younger viewers prefer immediate and quick content over traditional movie-going experiences, which they believe is influencing the reception of current films. The Russo brothers argue that this shift is not just a challenge for the entertainment industry, but reflects broader cultural changes where fast, often superficial engagement with content is becoming the norm. This guy. There's a bit of truth to this, but it's not the whole story. Does short-form content get more eyeballs than long-form content? Yep! Absolutely. Any YouTuber or TikToker can attest to that. But they're acting like well-done, long films just don't do well anymore. I'd love to see their justification for the success of Oppenheimer and Dune Part 2. The Russos mentioned the global trend towards rapid consumption and communication through memes and short videos, implying that these factors are reshaping expectations and the reception of narrative formats like those used in the MCU. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? What in the hell are they even talking about? The MCU, throughout the entire multiverse saga so far, have been quick dopamine hits, flashing lights, and quip fests. It's like Coco Melon for adults. It's literally designed to keep the attention of any casual content consumer. Not saying I didn't enjoy the Russo Bros MCU films, they were probably some of the best out of the entire franchise, but do you really think that they're making Citizen Kane or Gone with the Wind? Nope. My god. But despite all these challenges, the Russo brothers say that they believe that just as the Western genre evolved over time, the superhero genre can also adapt and continue to captivate audiences. Right. The upcoming MCU film Deadpool and Wolverine is set to test this theory with its release in July. I think that a combo of Deadpool's past success, Ryan Reynolds, the hard R rating, and getting Hugh Jackman back as Wolverine one more time are all going to smash Deadpool 3 to a gigantic box office pull. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. But what the hell will that prove? The Russos are correct that genres evolve, and if the superhero genre adapts and gets creative again, it will be profitable again. So far, Disney Marvel hasn't shown any willingness to change for the better. They made their bones in the Infinity Saga, and now they're about pushing modern messaging and agendas. To paraphrase a threat from Taika Waititi, they'll destroy your mythos in a minute, baby. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? And they'll do it with smiles on their faces. And when you reject it, they'll blame you and call you names. The world. I really hope the Russo brothers, Marvel, and Disney as a whole wake the hell up very soon and start delivering quality, can't-miss content yet again. Snap out of it! 
but excuse me if my expectations are very tampered. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Comment with your thoughts on all of this. Do you agree with the Russo brother that it's just these damn kids who are the problem? Or has Marvel simply lost the thread? Do you think Marvel's fallen off? And if so, do you think they'll rise back to prominence? Or can they? Let me know down in the comment section. As always, the links to the article I covered can be found in the video description. Also, please share this video around to everyone you know, and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click that little bell to be notified every time we post brand new content. I've been Troy from Marks on Movies, and we'll see you next time.